Harvard has wonderful, strong, interesting women. So there's not a sense that um, women won't be valued. I mean, I, I t taught at Harvard about uh, almost 20 years ago. I was pregnant with my first son, and I felt weird. That doesn't happen anymore. That simply doesn't happen anymore. I also feel welcomed by my colleagues on the faculty precisely for making the contribution that I have. It's not that you know, I have to say, yes, you've been a lawyer for this amount of time, and yes, you've been a judge, but we'd like you to teach you know, the law of Lower Slobovia. <laughs> this is not, I mean, they want me to bring to bear this experience um, in an academic setting, and, and I'm really looking forward to that. I very much want a new adventure. Uh, you know, someone once said to me, why don't you stay as a judge? You know, it's a great place to grow old. People respect you even when you're hobbling around. That is just what I don't want. I, I don't want to grow old anywhere. I'm having some trouble growing old, period. But I, I, I want another adventure. I think that people from uh, the practice should be in law schools, and I think academics should go into practice, because what we have now is a substantial disconnect. If I hear another judge say to me, I never read the Harvard Law Review, it's too boring, or it's too abstract, um, I will go out of my mind. I read it because I actually take some translating sometimes, but I read law reviews because I want, they have the opportunity that we don't have. Um, I'll read a law review about um, discrimination law and the direction that it has gone in, because the lawyers that are quoting cases from Westlaw, giving me chunks of cases, have no perspective. Um, and I need that perspective. I couldn't decide unless I had some sense, not just of the words on the page, but their implications. So the academy needs to speak to the profession more than it has. And I'm not just talking how to. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the net effect of this kind of rule is this. So maybe we should look at the rule again. The academy has to speak to practice. I think that practice should speak uh, to the academy. I would hope uh, it's a little too soon for me to be pontificating about the direction of legal education. S talk to me next year. <laughs> I love to teach, and I have regarded talking to juries as teaching, judging as teaching, and teaching as teaching. So I love, I, I absolutely love to teach, and I'm really looking forward to this.